Hey, it's Carl from electrifiteblog.com and I'm here with the new Luna Ludicrous scooter. This is the third prototype that these guys have been working on. And although it looks really stupid, I mean, it looks really stupid. Like I would never be seen on this thing. Eric showed it to me and I'm like, really? This is, this is going to be one of your flagship products. And then I took it for a ride and I fell in love with it right away. It's just completely insane. This thing puts out 3000 Watts. 1500 watts the front hub, 1500 watts the rear hub, and it accelerates so fast that it's actually scary. And it tops out at a little over 30 miles an hour. And let me tell you, I've ridden a lot of electric skateboards. I actually started a blog called uh, electricboarding.com, which has been nowhere near as popular as electricbikeblog.com. But even at 22 miles an hour, which is the fastest I've ever gone, and that was with a, uh, a dual plus boosted board, this thing is about 10 miles an hour faster and it's scary. But with the 10 inch tires and the full suspension on the front and the rear, it is mad fun. It's completely unlike anything else I've ever ridden, I've ever, it's like insane. It's absolutely insane. Um, the whole thing collapses down. If you lift here, you can see it collapses and then the handlebars fold down like that. And so you can actually transport it like this. It weighs about 65 pounds, which is pretty darn heavy, but you can walk into pretty much anywhere with a scooter and not get funny looks. So like you could walk into the Marriott Hotel with a scooter and what are they gonna do? You know, they're gonna tell you, it's not like with a bike where if you bring a bicycle inside, people start giving you really strange looks. So. I don't know, it's just really cool. Like it's got little brake lights like this and it's just so much fun to ride. And that's the thing like, like I never imagined I'd be sitting up here talking about a scooter like this, a kick scooter being fun to ride. But this thing is over the top fun to ride. And it's just, there's just nothing else like it. And a lot of it is because there's no one in the world who's as insane as Eric, who's willing to take the risk to bring a product like this to market where the liability risk is huge, his profit margins are razor thin on this thing, and he's doing it because of the passion that he has for the product. You know, For him, it's really about finding the ultimate form of electric transportation. And in some ways, this is a lot closer than anything else I've ridden. So with a, it's got a 25 amp hour battery, and it easily goes like close to 30 miles. And this thing is so powerful. We had one of our scooters, it wasn't fully charged and the battery died. And I was riding this thing and pulling another guy on the scooter, no problem. You can do two people on the scooter, no problem. And <laughs> we had a huge problem where everybody got lost and everybody got separated and the cops ended up pulling one guy over because he was looking for us and we had to Uber back to my car. And I show up at the parking lot Eric's been waiting there for an hour, just riding the bike around in a parking lot. And he's riding it along in the parking lot. And then there's this huge 45 degree cliff. He's going 30 miles an hour with this scooter. And then he just hits this dirt wall that I wouldn't want to climb on a mountain bike at full speed. And the thing just zooms up to the top. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And I looked at him and I started laughing. I'm like, oh my God, you're crazy. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen anyone do. And then I tried it and it was really scary. So I started going at this, this dirt wall basically at like 10, 15 miles an hour and everything in my brain is telling me, no, stop, whatever you're doing, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. And, it just, and then I just started going up the cliff and I'm like, so you're doing kind of off-roading with, th with this thing and what's the worst that's gonna happen? You know, you step off the scooter, you know, so you're on this giant incline. And I went faster and faster until finally I was hitting this dirt steep slope that's probably 45 degrees at 30 miles an hour and it was one of the funnest things I've ever done on any electric powered vehicle, hands down. And it was also the stupidest thing I've ever done. And you know what, this thing is just, it's fun and stupid. And I just hope that the people that do Jackass never get their hands on it because they're gonna just go crazy doing crazy stunts with this thing, totally over the top. And it's perfect for like people that own yachts or, uh, you know, people that have small planes where they fly from place to place, you know, you can fold this thing up and throw it in your boat or throw it in your plane or throw it in the trunk of your freaking Mazda Miata and just whip it out and just go wherever you want. You know, you could throw a golf bag on the back of this thing and just scoot around. 
you know, the golf course all day long. I mean, the uses for this thing are just endless. So I'm really hoping this product takes off. I'm really hoping that nobody dies from being stupid with it, but they probably will. We're looking at the Luna Ludicrous scooter. We're gonna do a close up of some of the features on this thing. Totally awesome, totally over the top. Here on the right hand side, we have the right hand brake, which you should pretty much never use because if you squeeze it too hard, it locks up, you fly over the handlebars. On the left hand, we have the rear brake. You gotta be extremely careful with this. If you squeeze it too fast without leaning back first, you're off the scooter. So my advice is to start slow and kind of learn how to do this thing. And when you're going, you know, 35 miles an hour with a scooter, don't slam on the brakes no matter what happens. Um, we also have a power level here. There's different modes um, that you can do. You can reset the odometer. Um, and, uh, right. So this sets the level, the level of acceleration using the mode and power buttons. So for people that are learning, you can control that. There's also a headlight here on the front, which turns on the headlight in the front, which is plenty bright enough. It also has lights in the rear uh, on the side, so you have side lighting. It also has brake lights here when you pull the brakes in so that traffic can see you. You can see it's got a full suspension piece here. It's got um, a rear steel shock, steel spring shock without air dampening. It's also got steel shocks in the front. It's got super beefy dropouts for the 1500 watt motor. It has um, a very large, <laughs> or what looks to be a very large, 160 millimeter rotor on the front and the rear. Uh, and the brakes on this thing are just completely over the top. And uh, it's really, the scooter is really a lot of fun if you can ride it without having to use the brakes very much. So my advice is only use the brakes when you have to, and uh, it's way more fun to ride. The other thing is you gotta be careful of the, the uh, motor attachment here. You don't want that to, to, to wipe out and then damage the hull sensors or the phase wires. Um, the other safety feature with this scooter um, is that you have to be moving in order for the throttle to happen. So I'm pulling the throttle right now. Nothing happens. If I move it forward, then you can see that the, the, the throttles pick up. It also has a really nice kickstand right there, which supports it. And then the whole thing can break down. And you can, oops. Oh, and I forgot about the horn. There, it's got a little horn. So you can carry it like that. It's about 65 pounds. And it is completely unlike any other product on the US market right now. The Luna Ludicrous scooter. There it is.